We've all eaten delicious meals in restaurants and wondered, why don't my home-cooked meals taste like that? They don't taste the same because we don't know what chefs know until now. Niagara's best chefs are gonna show me how to make their most popular dishes in a typical home kitchen, just in time for a dinner party with the neighbors. My name is Maurizio and the restaurant is called the Paisa Pizzeria. Our focal point is like our wood burning oven that was made in Napoli. The oven weighs uh, 5,000 pounds and uh, to get it in was like one man on a forklift. We can bring it up to 800 degrees so that we can bake the pizza the way it's like supposed to be baked uh, in the Napolitan style that is less than two minutes. We always try to make the best using the best ingredients trying to use like the proper wood and uh, sticking to a recipe that is like over a hundred years old. And so we try to get the best out of uh, every pie that we make. Maurizio, thank you so much for coming today. Yeah. What are we making? We're making pizza. Oh my God, I You're love pizza. Ready? I yeah. mean, I normally order pizza yeah. because I- uh, You're I lazy. Clearly you know yeah. me. Uh, but it's one of those things that I never really think that I can make at home, so yeah. I just order it. Yeah. But, you know, it's apparently not, uh, not impossible. No, okay. not at all. <laughs> all you need to make the pizza dough is some water, flour, a little bit of yeast, and some sea salt. And then you can add whatever you want to put on the pizza. Pizza is not the topping. Pizza is the dough. Perfect. So let's start making the dough. Well, maybe before we do that, let me yeah. ask you, what would you drink while well, you're making pizza? Prosecco. Prosecco. Or that's something sparkling. And uh, you have some in the fridge, yeah. right? Yeah. Why don't we grab some? Should we open it? Yeah, that'll be easier to drink it yeah. that way, I think. Okay, excellent. Why don't I open this and uh, and you uh, show me how we're gonna get started. Okay, so we're gonna start making some pizza dough. We're gonna start with the water. We're making enough for four or five people. Okay. So like I would say one liter of water, yeah. 900 grams of flour, three, four grams of uh, yeast, because yeast is a starter, yeah. right? So it melts in the water and allows the dough to rise. All right, let's so. get that going. So once the Don't yeast is that. melted, let's start adding the flour. I love drinking Prosecco when I cook. Me too. It's the bubbles. And you start stirring. You know you're using the wrong end of that spoon, right? Are you teaching me how to make uh, pizza? No, or no, is no, the chef, other no, way no, 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 yeah. sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, Quick toast. Salute. Salute. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's good. All right, tell me what to do. Flour. Okay. Keep going. Don't be shy. I've never been yeah. accused of being shy. Just a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Now we can add the salt. Add the salt. The yeast is what starts the leavening process. The yeah. salt is what uh, slows it down. Using uppers and downers yeah. basically yeah. at the same time, just to kind of like find like a like a good stable. Uh, bye bye. Yeah. Let's work. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 don't be shy. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Put some flour on the table, please, for me. Absolutely. Is that not enough? Yeah. Okay. So we're just scooping the dough out yeah. on top of the pile. Yep. At a certain point, it's gonna start absorbing the flour. Can yep. I just feel, you wanna uh, try this? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And are we just kind of turning and folding? Yep. Wow, you just do that so much yeah. better than I do. I've done a couple of pizzas in my life. How many pizzas <laughs> a day would you say you make? Uh, uh, I would say about 100. Never get tired of pizza. No, how can no. you though, right? No. Because it can be different every, yeah. every single time. See? Smooth. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Like it? I love it. Yeah. What we gotta do now is like we have to just cover it. So, hey. <laughs> this is my wine. That's your no, wine. Oh, sorry. This is a full glass. Excuse me. That's, a, that's an empty glass. Let's go back okay, to okay, work. Okay. Yeah. All right. After about a, an hour that this 
ball has been sitting, yeah. he, we're going to start do the stagliatura. That is basically cutting out of the big ball yep. the few individual pizza Portioning. dough. Sit slower. <laughs> stagliatura. Stagliatura. Bravo. Bravo. I'm basically Italian now. Yeah. So we're going to get the tomatoes ready. Okay. We're going to crush our tomatoes. So what kind of tomatoes are these? These are San Marzano tomatoes. San Marzano tomatoes. They're canned tomatoes, so you can find them everywhere in the world. They're very sweet. Okay. So like it's all about the sweetness of the tomato. Now we're gonna do the stagliatura. I still can't say that. You got it there, all right. Yeah, you should handle this part. I'll just, uh, I'm just gonna, just gonna manage. No. So we've divided it in two. And look at my hands. You gotta make a lull. Okay. And then you close it to like a ball. Okay. Okay. I did not know this was gonna be sure. this hard. You got some yeah. more wine. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of this, you take care yeah. of that. Okay. Maybe I'll just take this one. Yep. I can do this one. I still don't think mine yeah. looks any good. Now, you're gonna need uh, a little pizza box. So this guy's in. Well, I have a lot of those at home. Yeah. If you don't have a pizza box, what oh, would you? Like it any, doesn't really matter, any container that it's covered. That one's a little bit yeah. bigger than, yeah. than that one. That's the one you made. Oh, right, <laughs> of course. Mine are perfect. Okay. And we're gonna let this sit for a little bit. And then uh, we're gonna be ready to bake some pizza. Excellent. Okay. okay. We're gonna need a baking tray, a little bit of olive oil. So this is a baking tray that you would have in your restaurant, but you could use a cookie sheet, I imagine, yeah, as well, right? Yeah. Not really anything. So all you're gonna do is spread some olive oil. When we make pizza at the restaurant, as like we stretch it on the on the table, and I'll show you how. Okay. Okay. So you're not using a rolling pin. No. You're just. Yeah. You just. Kind of spreading it out Remember, slowly. This is gonna be the schiaffo. The what? The schiaffo. Schiaffo? Right? Means the slap. So is... that is already perfectly round. Yeah. When I try to do this at home, my pizza ends up looking like the shape of Italy, this like one. a boot. <laughs> so this is like how we do it on a pizza table. But so, at home, the, if you don't wanna make all that mess with the flour, yep. you put it on the pan. Right? Oh, okay. And, and you, you do it right it, on the pan. You stretch it with the help of olive oil, right? So the center of this pizza is very thin. The very dough is thin. very, very thin, yeah. but on the edges, it's it's quite a bit thicker. When we bake the pizza, this little cross around is going to tell us if the pizza is baked or not. So if the thick part of the pizza on the outside is starting to turn brown, you yeah. know that the thin part in the center is probably yeah. also going to yeah. be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and I guess it also gives you like a good handle, right? Yeah. To yeah. like actually. And also, yeah. This is the easy part. Okay. Right? You can go ahead and dress the pizza the way you want it. Really? So, <laughs> this, let's see how so, this goes. So, so go yeah. with the sauce. All right, so, and this is just our tomatoes right out of the can, just crushed. Yeah. And then, uh. Just yeah, maybe, maybe, first mistake, okay? okay. <laughs> so, this is like a brush. But who's okay. counting, right? You, you, you start from the center and you spread the sauce around. Is that yeah. enough sauce? That's up to your taste. That's the beauty of pizza. So, I will go with the basil. Okay. And some olives. All right. We got some anduja. This is like the Nutella of the South. Okay. In Italy, because in the north they have Nutella, yep. in the south we got pigs, okay. so we make Nutella <laughs> out of the pigs. This is some buffalo mozzarella. A cheese is always the last uh, ingredient. This oven is on at 475 degrees. Yeah. And so, it's... I would say 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Oh, Look yeah. Look at the color. Eccola qua. Oh, wow. Uh, beauty. Amazing. Yeah. And this is just in a regular, regular oven. Pizza. Yeah, at home. At home. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Yeah, you've done a pizza, my friend. That's generous. Yeah. That's generous of you it's, to say. It's important to cut the pizza when it's hot. Yeah, look at that. It's time to eat. After all this work, my friend. I want to see how you, okay. All right, good. I'm doing it right. Cheers. Well, cheers.
That's incredible. I guess even the camera guy wants some pizza. <laughs> nope. Now let's say let's say the oven is not working. What do you do? What do you do? You got a frying pan. We're gonna make a little pizza fritta. Okay, let's fry this pizza. Oh wow. <laughs> that is awesome. We're just deep frying pizza dough, yeah. which might be the greatest thing I've ever yeah. heard of. And look how nice is the color oh, of this one. Amazing. So now this is almost done. I don't even think I need to top this. I could just eat this the way it is. Careful. So maybe put a little bit of uh, rosemary, fresh tomatoes, some the Italian flag, my friend. Yeah. And uh, some mozzarella. I love Boy. it. I love it. This is beauty. Oh my god. Any oh. day that I get to eat more than one type of pizza is a magical day. Yeah. Should we have it? We should. All right. Mm. Mm. Not bad. Not bad. You can make a pizza in the oven. You yeah. can make a pizza in, in a, a frying in a pan frying with some oil. Pan. You can make it on the barbecue. Yeah. The important thing is that you can make pizza. You don't need to order pizza. You can make pizza. You can make pizza. You can make pizza. Not as good as he can. Probably better than I can. Hmm. We got pizza. <laughs> pizza. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was amazing. Okay. <laughs> Fried on stove top and pan. I know. It's Yours <laughs> is perfectly sized for you. There you are. Oh, thank you. you say, Where's the rest? Uh, thank you. Well, Chef, Cheers. thank you so much for this amazing pizza. Cheers, Thanks. guys. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having us. Let's eat.